Hi guys, welcome to Wild Willie's Book Reviews. Today I'm here with my friend Julie. Hi William. Hi. So I got this book, It Can't Be True, at the picto Anaganish Regional Library, donated by the TD Bank and the CNIB. And the CNIB is an acronym for Canadian National Institute of the Blind, of which I am a client. So how long have you been reading Braille? I started to learn Braille about 20 years ago when I got to the point where it was becoming difficult to read regular print. Um, I tried to keep up with it, however, audiobooks are so available these days, especially through the library, as well as the library donates the machines of, of which we can use uh, as a visually impaired person. Um, so I haven't really kept up with it, however, I strongly recommend that especially children do read Braille if they're visually impaired. I feel it's it's important because if you're listening to books you're not learning how to spell and um, children need to learn how to spell. So can you teach in this book it's about Braille as you can see it's there's like letters so you can read it and go along with it. So you can feel what Braille is like. So can you teach me a bit of Braille? I certainly can. Um, I had something written down for you so you could follow along with me. Okay. So Braille is a, a six cell okay. um, configuration. Yeah. So the letter, the bumps, they will be raised as you can feel. Yeah. So for example, letter A is the top left bump. It, they're almost like a domino. It's like a yeah. six point domino. Um, and then B would be top and the one below. And that's the way it goes. So I do believe, is it on there where it's printed? Yep. So you can follow that along. Um, I, when I first started to learn, because I still have some vision, um, I found it much easier to close my eyes when I was trying to read the braille because it's hard not to use your eyes. So you would, I would suggest you try that, is you close your eyes rather than try and see the bumps, is to close your eyes and feel them. So do you want to start on the first page? So you can read what it actually says and then you can follow along at the same time and kind of feel. These are great ideas for me to be able to read my grandchildren a bedtime story that they can follow along too is just yeah. wonderful. It really is. So I know Braille was written by a person named Lewis Braille. Yes. Um, how, do you know how old he was when he wrote Braille? Thirteen? I don't... You read the book to me. Yeah. I think that was the very first book you read to me. It was, yeah. Um, it was, was he thirteen when he oh. to read each letter that is where I, as far as I got? Oh. So I read like a first grader. Um, the cat is black. Yeah. So each, like, very basic, and then as you progress to the next level, there's two levels, I believe, and the next level is more of a, um, certain words, they, I don't know how they do it, whether they skip vowels in the word or how they do it, but it's not, the word doesn't have all the letters in it. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you were to read this book, Mm -hmm. Like, if it was in like a one of the first. If I things. could read yeah. Braille better, yeah. What would you think? Like <gasps> elephants. Yes. I love <laughs> elephants. Now can you? Oh, I feel that this book yeah. is beautiful. Like all the outline of yeah. the elephant is there. Yeah. Oh, isn't that f that is phenomenal. Thank you, TD Bank. So, if you were to give this book an overall review, 
But one out of ten, what would you give it? Oh, ten. Absolutely. Yeah, it's beautifully made. I'd like you to read it to me after. Okay. Hi guys, Sia from Wild Willies Book Reviews. Today I was with my friend Julie Martin, and I re and we reviewed this book, It Can't Be True, donated by TD Bank and CNIB. To Picto Anagan Rish Regional Library. Yep, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell. See ya.